More rain around today, a very wet start this morning. Thankfully, the rain clears and it brightens up this afternoon, but there is more wet weather as we head through the week. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday. I mean, it's not a cracker joke, but this is my go-to weather joke. Where do meteorologists go for a drink? I think it's an injury. <laughs> an injury. We didn't even have a sound of effect. Team that. Laughing at that one. It's really funny. <laughs> Could you just explain it to us? Um, you know, so that we... Those are the pressure lines that show how windy it's going to be, <laughs> and you go for a drink at a bar. I say bar. Good. <laughs> right, moving on swiftly. Halfway through our climate conference, COP28 at the moment in Dubai, and I guess one of the big things is just wondering why these these. Uh, talks matter so much. It's all about limiting our warming. We want to keep it below 1.5 degrees Celsius. At the moment, we're on track for 3 degrees Celsius. Well, recently, a company called Climate Central have released some images of what our future reality could look like. And they've just released some images of what Dubai would look like, the host city. This would be Dubai if we could limit our warming to 1.5 degrees. But if our current path is realised, 3 degrees of warming, this is what sea level would look like in Dubai. The whole of Dubai and out as far as the eye can see, completely covered in water. So this is the current projection of where we're heading, three degrees. The previous one is where we would be if we could limit our warming and cut our greenhouse gas emissions. That is Dubai. This is what it would look like in London. So with one and a half degrees of warming, London is dry. Now back to the UK's weather. And at the moment, it is much like yesterday. There's more cloud, there's more wind, there's more rain. But it's a divided start because we still have the colder weather further north and here it stood could be very icy this morning. But this is the very grey scene greeting us this morning on the satellite and radar. A lot of clouds. Good morning to you. The weather is yet again set to be wet today. In fact, quite big changes through the next few days. Weather fronts move in. It brings more cloud, more wind and rain, and the wind direction changes to more of a southwesterly, and that brings in milder air. So the cold weather we've had with us for around a week or so is set to clear in the coming days. Welcome news. Yes, there is always weather. It just keeps on happening. And at the moment, it is changing. It has been cold. It's been crisp. We've seen the snow changes to milder weather as the wind direction comes from the Atlantic, bringing in the mud, and it also brings with it wet. Today, after wet stead, it will turn drier and brighter. So a grey, wet start this morning, the rain heavy for central. Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. Today's weather is mixed. We still have the legacy of the cold air we had over the weekend and the last week lurking in the north, but change comes this week as the Atlantic battles back, bringing with it, yes, obviously wind and rain, but also milder conditions for today. After a wet start, it turns dry and bright. Good morning to you. The weather is starting off cold this morning through northern areas. It's wet in the south, but it will brighten up as we head through the day. Here's the latest satellite and radar image. Clearest in the north, we have these frosty conditions, and with the wet weather lately, it means it could be icy. Also cloudy with rain for much of England and Wales. The rain is heavy this morning, but it will ease by the afternoon. Showers continuing in the east, the best of any brightness out towards the west. And temperature-wise, today another chilly day ahead, four to seven at best.